case you couldn't tell that Jurassic Park was part of my childhood. Hey guys and welcome to another video. It's your girl Angie from East New York and um I said East New York. Why did I say East New York? I'm I used to, I basically still lived in East New York, but if you see by the space, I am in a new space. I finally um, got my booty cheeks up and I moved out. So that's very exciting. It's like, yay, I moved out of my own space. I'm in a duplex, so it's like, you know, shared bathroom and kitchen, but so far the roommates are great. I have no issues. Uh, the only issue I'd ever really have is like if somebody left the place like really messy and like the common spaces and like, somebody touch my food because I have a big thing about people touching your food you know because when you have food and it's like you waited for the whole day and then somebody eats that food I get so mad I get so mad but yes welcome to another video this is gonna be a sort of get ready with me life update kind of thing I'm about to go to work I don't know why I chose to do all these things or chose to do this before I go to work but I was like you know what that'll make you keep it short and concise and I need to post a video because uh you know even though there's a little bit of disdain with making videos because you're just you know uh being in your head about it and it's like just post it and you know just post it but you're still just gonna be in your head about it yeah then it causes procrastination but I still love making videos and I need to keep the core of that. Anyways, I'm about to put on some lashes. I feel like today's a lashes day. I haven't done lashes in a while and I have all this damn makeup um, and I need to just do more of eyeshadows because it's about to be a whole year. Yeah, you see the mess that's going on? I still am slowly fixing everything. I have a day off tomorrow, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm not doing any makeup right now, but I will soon later. In a, in a later time. Um, I will be doing some lashes. I think I'll just, I want to be a little dramatic today. I, the blue one, I don't feel like attaches well. I could do the blue, but I don't feel like it attaches well. And with the color of my hair, I'm just not going to do it. So I think I might just do these big baddies. These are my favorites. I can't tell you which one they are because I mismatch them and sometimes I fall asleep in one of them and I was like, well, now I wasted some lashes. What's new? You good? Something's good going for you. It has to be something good, even if it's bad. Something bad happening around. There's always, there's always something good. Yes, I know I could be a little optimistic, but it keeps me sane. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, yes, guys. I am. I just came back from London a week ago because I was like, I booked the trip because um, I had a family member that had passed away, and we shared the same name. I was lucky enough to meet her when I first went to London in 2016. Um, so I saw a good amount of my UK family when I went this past time around and my friends and it was just really nice to see everyone. It was just, it was what I needed. And as soon as I booked that trip, because I was like, I can't, I don't want to spend money on a plane ticket when I have all these points that I can use. So I, um, I bought myself using my points a uh, plane ticket to London because I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to go on vacation, so on and so forth. So what I did was, um, no, I already said that. <laughs> I booked the trip and then like a day or two later, I got a notification from the uh, To My Sisters podcast, which is a woman empowerment podcast. Love them. They're from London and oh, well, England. Sorry. I don't know if they're from London, but they're from England. And they're doing a podcast to like for women's betterment and stuff. And I've been listening to them when I, uh, towards the first end of the pandemic, so 2020. And it was what I needed because I was in such a rut and I didn't even at the time feel like I even knew me. Like I know me now, like now every day I've, I'm present. I'm present every day I wake up. I could be less procrastinating but I'm present I know me I'm here drinking my water I know this that and the third so uh yeah they were just taking applications for to see if who would want to come to this women's retreat to Africa and me and some 22 other girls got selected and I feel so happy to be a part of it I didn't I felt like I was like oh I'm like five days late to send in this application 
and people are probably already put in their applications, they probably won't get it. And then like two days later after I booked this trip for London, they're like, oh, you're going to Tanzania. Just make sure you fill out this thing and first payment, yada, yada. And I was like, oh, what? So we did Zoom calls already. Um, the company we're going with is Sorted Chale. That's the company. And we're going at the end of August. So I put my request my days in per Demetrius um, told me to do. <laughs> He's like, book it in now, book it in now. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Um, I, pro I probably won't do this on camera because this is going to be too much focus. But yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to Tanzania. I'm going to Tanzania. I'm so happy. At first, I didn't want to say anything about it because, you know, when you're like, ah, what if someone falls through? But all I really have to do is get uh, my ticket to uh, Tanzania. It's going to be a 14 hour flight. So that's not exciting. But I'm very excited that it's going to be like my first time in Africa and they, they have an itinerary. Uh, we're going to help some girls in a school and that's just going to be really nice. And I think that, you know, the women who uh, started the project of doing just, you know, sort of like trip to Africa, like, you know, so people can drop the stigma and you don't need to go on some weird Christian retreat and take pictures of little black and Indian kids. <laughs> that's so sad, isn't that when you say that a lot? You're like... Why are you taking a picture of a child? Because would you take a picture of anybody else's child? Like, what are you doing? What? Are you like, oh my God, look how beautiful his eyes are, even though his stomach hurts and he's trying to ask me for money for food. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Anyways, let me put in this lash. All right, y'all. I am lashed up. <laughs> y'all see that girl? Oh my gosh, if I find her... Her TikTok, I'll show you. And she was just like, I will live the soft life. I will not be dead. She's like, she's so fun. I think she's probably like from England or an African. And her skits are too funny where she has like her little bubbles with her jacket. And she was like, the soft life was for me. A red winner. Why is your body count higher than your credit score? You poor. She's so good. But yeah, that's how I feel when I'm bad in my lashes. But I put in these lashes. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know which one these are from. Um, ColourPop. That's why I got it from ColourPop. I got it off ColourPop. And I don't know anything else. <laughs> but I, I will also link if you, there's lashes like these that are similar. But like a little less um, on the extensions. And I got them from... Shein, it's like these giraffe eyelashes. But besides this one, those other ones are my favorite. They are my favorite. I put some um, Paradis skin. I'm gonna say Paradis. Uh, I'll link that, obviously. You see the nails though? Um, <laughs> I, got, I got the Deep Shade 2. Yeah, I got it in Deep Shade 2. It works very well for my skin. Oh, but sorry, I I digress. So I am <laughs> I'm saving money for this trip. Uh, for a minute last month, I was just killing myself with like working two jobs because I was just in the interim of training at one and like finding they were finding like people for my shifts at the other, and it was just it was a lot of it was a lot of stress. I didn't have any days off. And it was getting to me and luckily this apartment came. I've been saving money for an apartment for a long time anyways, just to make sure. And now being here and knowing that I want my own space, like I, this is my own space for me to like not be at mi madre's casa, you know? But uh, yeah, I just needed my own space. So now that I'm here, it's gonna motivate me to do better so I can move out of the space and have my own space. But I'm also in New York City, so you know, that's really hard. And it's either I gotta find a compromise and have a roommate or, I mean, this right now is already a compromise, but it's better than nothing. So I'm happy, happy, I'm content. I like my space and it's great. Honestly, with the way that things are set up right now, um, I was like, if anybody ever tried to come rob my spot, even though I'm like at the lower part, if anybody tried to rob me, I'd be like, in this apartment, I'd be like, what, what are you looking for? Cause I need help finding it. I need help finding something in my room and 
you know, if you find something valuable, it's, it's yours to keep at this point because I need to help finding it. And that's sad. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, what else is new? Yes, yeah, so I'm very glad that I'm working less shifts at my other spot. I'm just going to pick up shifts if I need money. I'm a waitress, as um, I might have alluded to in my other video, which I didn't like. Uh, I didn't want to go back to the food and service after working in this really dingy, dragged out, depressive place. But now I found a, two places that I actually really like and the people are really cool. Like, why do we have to work at jobs and be miserable? Like, you're really going to not want to work. Like, why I got to hate the people that I'm working with? Like, that's just weird. That's just weird to me. I am doing the, and what else is new is I'm just doing the Shreddy Summer Challenge. They have a balance challenge, which has some yoga included in it, which I'm very excited about because uh, the way that my body is breaking down as I rear towards 30, um, it's not to fear anybody into getting older. It's just, you know, you're just like, oh, if I move different on my knees, then I may feel like there's a splinter in there. You know, and I got to make sure that my hands, like my hands are, um, I can feel it stiffening. So I got to make sure that I, if it may lead to carpal tunnel. So I need to make sure that I'm going to be good with my hands, especially because my mom has carpal tunnel and it's not looking good. Carpal tunnel and arthritis. So that's chronic pain. That's not good. Um, but she's doing her best. She's doing her therapy and stuff. So, you know, hopefully things will be better. You can't, nothing you can do about the arthritis. Uh, you just gotta do your best with your carpal tunnel to make it, you know, less painful, I guess. I don't know. Get back the movements in your hands. But yeah. I'll leave a few links for like the lashes and stuff. And if you made it to the end, this thing is fake. <laughs> I thought you should get a reward for staying till the end. This is fake. I do really like it. Um, I got it off of Shein. It's like a buck. And people, I got so many compliments on it. Like, oh my God, your septum looks so good. It was probably like $400. And I was like, I was like, no, I can't do these piercings. Hell no. I sure can't. I like the look of it and I like taking it out, but I sure can't. But yes, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video, whatever video that will be, because it's going to be the random, like the game of life. Oh, and if you have the chance, go see everything everywhere all at once. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Go watch it. I am just now exiting the museum. I wish I, I was supposed to have ordered the selfie stick before I left. And I ordered our Amazon Prime. I was supposed to be here. And of course, I didn't get it. So... This is the best angle I could do with my arms. But yes, it's been fun. I like this museum. I love going to the dinosaur parts because I just love dinosaurs.